Hey, what's up everybody? I wanted to make this video because this unit here that's in my rack is about to probably get taken out and replaced with something else. And I realized I never shot a video on it or showed anyone or shared the code or anything. So that's what this video is. And it's also kind of for my personal reference. So if I ever put it back in, I remember how to operate it. It's a module in the sense that it is the right size. It's getting power from my Eurorack, but it's really just a MIDI sequencer. There's no CV or gate or anything. Uh, the reason is because I was going to actually build this as a standalone unit, and then I realized kind of last minute it would sort of fit in this little rack I have here. So I kind of reworked it a little bit just so it would fit in here and save some desk space. So anyway, it's a drum sequencer at heart. Um, has this one pad here. That's velocity sensitive. That's a piezo. The way I made this is this is actually a hot glue molded. And then the piezo is underneath. And there's just some old fabric from a shirt I have that is wrapping the whole thing. So it's essentially got three devices or three MIDI outputs. Um, it can go to three different devices, and then each device has six different parts to it. So let me see if I can pan up a little bit here. So you can kind of see the MIDI is on TRS jacks coming out sort of the top of my Eurorack. I only have that green one as the input, which inputs the clock. And then I, I just have one output right now going to my 404. It does have two more outputs, but I'm not using it because I was kind of about to take it apart and take it out. So I kind of just hooked it up real quick to get it back up and running. All right, so going over the features. Right now we're on kind of the first device and we're on the first instrument for that. So to input some notes into the grid here, I'll just go ahead and make sure the chord light's on. It does record velocity. So we got some kicks in there. We'll go ahead and change to the next device with this button. You can change also just by holding and tapping those, but it'll auto increment to the next instrument, which you can see on these bottom LEDs here. So which one is this? It's like a snare. Uh, I guess we'll do some four on the floor stuff or something. And then we'll go to the next one, take off record so we can, yeah, let's go. Okay, there's the hi-hat. Let's plop some in here. All right, so we got like three instruments. This thing doesn't have an internal clock. It relies on a MIDI clock. So I need to set up Ableton really quick. So in that last clip, I kind of messed up the drum pattern. So here it is. Kind of redid it really quick. And you can hear it kind of going. So you can go check your instruments. Sorry, this is kind of hard with one hand. Oh, we got that muted. Uh, that's one thing I didn't mention. So when it's pat playing, these are mute buttons for each individual part. So that was one thing that I really was missing on the beat step was the ability to just quickly mute parts. Okay, so turn up the swing a little bit. So. Got it swinging a bit. Just turn that back down. And then the beat repeat button. Turn that way up. So while you're holding that down, you can, you know, adjust the repeats. You can also use these buttons down here to uh, adjust the beat repeats. So let's. So yeah, I mean, I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. That's pretty much it. <laughs> There's not a whole lot to it. Um, I guess I could go over some of the other functions, like um, there is a little screw right here, a little set screw that sets the velocity sensitivity. 
just so you can kind of dial it in. Uh, the shift functions I didn't really go into, but um, so if you go, if you hold this shift down, you can change the speed of each individual part of each device. So it goes from just one to times 16. And then if you hold down the encoder here and turn this, you can actually change the amount of steps per part per device. So you can get a whole lot of weird step stuff going on. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple device. Um, yeah, like I said, it's just a MIDI controller. Um, yeah, I'm actually gonna be using, probably start using Ableton to do all my drum programming now that I've kind of got it all hooked up with my modular. So this thing's probably gonna get put in the pile of unused devices, but did want to shoot a quick video just to show it working and in case anyone wants to build it, sharing the code and everything. So anyway, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it.